I think the Stewart book has been successful for many reasons. One of them is this attention to detail that he has. I've mentioned that we would go back and forth with a single sentence, and that level of detail is throughout the entire book. It took him eight years to write the first edition, and that's working like 364 days a year. He would sweat every little detail, and every little sentence, every word was so carefully chosen. I mean, you can literally look at the book as an accumulation of thousands and thousands of tiny decisions that were all made. He told us that we write for two audiences, not just one, for the student and for the professor, so that the book is not just a learning tool for students, it's also a teaching tool for professors. The problem-solving approach of the text is really an important part of the text because Professor Stewart believed that problem solving is not just something that's innate in a person, but it's something that can be learned. He took a course from Georges Polya, the famous problem solver. I believe he had a big impact on Jim. So one of the things he did in the very first chapter, at the end of the first chapter, is he has a summary of Polya's principles, and he calls it principles of problem solving. And he goes very carefully through some advice on how to approach just any problem in general, things you can try. But the cool thing about it in the book is he, he uses that throughout the book, and so he'll often refer back to it. And so you'll see even he has a little icon he used. And he'll say, like, here we are using the principle we talked about, you know, so-and-so, if we want to refer back to it. If you understand the concept, you understand how to apply calculus to your particular job or your particular problem that you're faced with. There's a focus on the concept of each idea. The bulk of the learning happens while they do it at WebAssign, where they have many more problems that they have to do and just check their answer right away. That's one of the most powerful things that you know whether you've done the problem right or not. I would really like the students to see the bigger picture. I would really like to get them to see the beauty and appreciate it as well, but I'd like to see them the, the larger overall concept. Mm -hmm.